New guidance from the National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence could save the NHS some £800 million a year in England alone. And literally we pass this through the patient's mouth. Esophageal Doppler monitoring accurately measures changes in blood flow during surgery through the insertion of an ultrasound probe into the esophagus. And then we get it running, we can see the heart flowing blood out to the body. In many of the more major procedures, patients lose blood. And we want to replace that blood, but we need to finely tune that to get the optimal performance from the heart. By using the esophageal Doppler measurement, we can achieve that sweet spot of getting just the right amount of fluid to get optimal heart performance. With at least 800,000 relevant operations a year in England, this guidance from the NICE Medical Technology Advisory Committee means that use of this technology could save the NHS more than 1.6 million bed days per year. All the independent trials into the CardioQ ODM have shown that it significantly improves outcomes for patients undergoing surgery. This innovative approach is less invasive than other methods and has been shown to reduce the average length of hospital stay and result in fewer hospital readmissions. When we investigated ODM, we had a number of findings. The main one was that the length of time that patients spent in hospital reduced by three and a half days, which was very significant given that these patients were having major surgery. We also found that the numbers of patients that died fell by 12%. And we also found that the numbers of times that patients were readmitted to hospital or needed a second operation fell by 30% each. Our experience of using the esophageal Doppler monitor is that if we do finally tune our fluid management, we improve patient recovery. We've had optimal blood supply to the organs. That means that we avoid complications in the post-operative period. That allows patients to be fit enough to go home sooner from hospital and avoids long-term complications after they've returned home. Esophageal Doppler monitoring has been gaining ground in hospital use since it was first introduced in 1999, and Deltex Medical, a small British medical technology company, has pioneered the development and use of ODM for over 20 years. Their CardioQ ODM monitors are used in around 25,000 NHS surgical patients each year. But successive reports have shown that the NHS could save more money and improve patient care through wider ODM use. NICE, which is the National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence, uh, has done a comprehensive review of CardioQ ODM uh, and recommended its use in major and high-risk surgery, but also in high-risk patients having pretty much any sort of surgery. Major and high-risk surgery uh, is really anyone who's going to be under anaesthetic for an hour or more. So that would include orthopaedic procedures, hips and knee replacement, it would go up to things like abdominal surgery, gynecological surgery, lots of the things that happen as treatment for cancer, but also into areas like cardiac and major vascular work. We certainly hope that NICE's recommendation will lead to an increased uptake in CardioQ ODM usage. I mean, the case is very compelling for the technology. Not only is it great for patients, but they do so much better, it's also great for the NHS, because they can use the resources, the money freed up to do other things.